computer had a case of the Mondays. This is round two. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't. I'm not doing this again, but I will say. <laughs> welcome back. Putting that out there. Enjoyed your photos. Yeah. I like the big sky effect of out west, you know, the yeah. alien landscape that is our American Southwest. It is. Um, I'll, I don't, there's no pictures lined up because it's, most people listen on audio, audio. But there'll be yeah. links in the description below if anybody actually cares what we're talking about. Um, it was no other way to describe it. Probably our mm-hmm. best family vacation ever. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, it was. First My off, wife asked me if you drove your Tesla out there. We, and I was like, drove you, his you, Tesla? Well, not from Cincinnati out there. Uh, I was we, like, why would he do that? And we did see said, Teslas like going in between. But I'll tell you, like, this is one of the scenarios where just having a gas car um, just yeah, makes yeah. more sense. because Big you, distances out there. The distances Big are distances. vast. And <laughs> let me tell you, you, you leave a little city and there is just nothing for 150 that, right. miles. So, yep. I, I, I said to you, you know, I... My father lived out in Albuquerque mm. and in Phoenix, and we, of course, eventually moved to Phoenix. And I was quite taken with how different things are out there. Aside from the obvious stuff, the arches and the, <laughs> you know, all that stuff, um, the, that is the, one of the big differences out west uh, in a lot of places out west, where when you come from the east like we do, you leave whatever town you live in, and, and there's a town, and there's a town, and there's a town, there's a city, there's a town, there's a town, there's a town. <laughs> like, you could drive from... The lower mm-hmm. portion of Maine to probably Virginia <laughs> before you ran into a place where there were no things somewhere. But out west, there's a place, and then there's mm-hmm. a vast area of space, and then there's a place. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it, you know, when you're used, you're used to what you're used to, you know, like it's, yeah. it's, it's so sharply different. Like there's no McDonald's every 18 miles that if you need to pull no. over or whatever, like, nope. Uh, that was the observation I once made of Indianapolis. It's just the same strip mall over and over again. It's like you you drive to the third, you know, mm-hmm. Italian uh, restaurant and it's the same place. And then you take a left and you go by three 7-Elevens and then you're there. You know, it's just anyway, beautiful. Yeah, yeah really it, beautiful. Um, wonderful trip. I mean, I mean yeah. that's good. So couple... that's not, everything went great. Flights were great. Flights well, were fine. fine. The only fine. the only minor thing we ran into, <clears throat> which if anybody owns this vehicle. I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> the Nissan Armada might be Armada. the might be the what? worst car I have ever driven. That sounds like a giant SUV SUV type name. Yes. Armada. Armada. Jesus. Armada. It, it it was was the Nissan Gargantuan already taken or something? <laughs> well, they have a Titan, which is their truck. Uh, oh my God! What is wrong with these people? All right. Okay. Worst. We picked it up and we drove it. Like, dude, there was so much play in the steering that, like, there were a couple Shakespeare plays in there that just got lost along the way from turning from left to right. And then uh, we wake up because uh, we stayed in Vegas the first night because my wife had never been there and whatever. Yeah, uh, yep. we wake up. What you next... think of the Vegas? Uh, she hated it as expected. Yeah, that's good. You got to get that out of her system. Yep. Venetian, right? Was that? Uh, right? Well, so this this is where things kind of went wrong, and I wrote them a nice long review, and I'm waiting oh, to hear back. So we, we check into the P- Venetian and like, we're going to upgrade you. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, great, whatever. And so they put the they put us over in the Palazzo, mm-hmm. which which was great. And then they said, okay, just walk over there with with our bags and a kid. Having Paul, I don't know if you've ever been in a casino. Um, <laughs> I've also been with a kid. <laughs> yeah. Let alone walking um, with your wife and a kid through a casino, first of all smelling like smoke know, and just like the last place on earth where this is acceptable for some reason exactly that's i wrote them a long thing and they're supposed to call me um mm-hmm. it, it's not like it's not that they changed our rooms but from anybody who's not familiar these are technically the same hotel but it's like yeah. a mile long walk this is over a, there and it's not straight this is a fairly recent trend in las vegas by which i mean it probably happened 30 years ago but mm-hmm. um these established properties that have continued to exist are have either bought something next to them or expanded somehow, and they have these other towers and other places. And they're, all the big places in Vegas kind of have this. Um, I wasn't, I mean, totally aware of the one at the Venetian or whatever, but um, but yeah, that doesn't surprise me. So, like, of course, like they have to keep up with the Bellagio and mm-hmm. even the Rio did it. You know, Rio, if you go yeah. across the highway, the Rio has like a second building, you know, like they have, the, this is like just the way things are. It's, it's very strange. Yeah. 
But anyway, so you pay a whole bunch of money, then we had to walk there and got lost, of course, because it's a casino and finding your way through that. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. Yeah, but at least you're not dragging your, a little kid and your bags all over Hell's Earth, you know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we did uh, that. Actually, to be honest, the best hotel room we had was in mm -hmm. Moab, Utah. Not even not even joking. That's amazing. We, we stayed at... Uh, it was less money, too. We stayed mm -hmm. at... Uh, it was... It was a Hilton property, but it was a brand new hotel. Was, I can't even remember the name of it. And it was like this new art deco, new funky style. But dude, yep. it was... Was it Curio by Hilton? No. Because Hilton has like... Maybe it uh, was. Actually, uh, you know what? Merritt has a bunch of brands and they, um, you know, they buy, you know, they buy brands and whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of Curio by Hilton kind of kitschy. Or they're kind of trendy hipster kind of places, you know. I don't know if I would call it trend. I mean, maybe trendy. Hold on, I can actually pull up the name here because I'm. I was about to say really organized. Uh, hold on. So that was in Moab. The Hoodoo. I, wow. Who like? Oh no, no, it is a curio. You're right. It is a curio. Yeah, but it will have its name. Yeah. 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 So it's just a, like a line of. Yeah. Hotels. You Easily know. the best hotel room yeah. ever stayed. First off, the place was so brand new that when you looked it up on Google Maps, it was still just a plot of earth. <laughs> and you can also tell, dude, dude sure. their nightstands had two USB-C and one A and then two yeah, outlets next to it. It's like just, it was... They didn't have the clock radio with the uh, old iPod adapter. It thing, did not. Little, uh, <laughs> you know, you see that everywhere in hotels. Yep. Like, the seriously. The 30 pin. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. It, it was Zion National Park, easily the best park by wow. far. That's uh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we got lucky in some regard because mm -hmm. when we were initially looking at it, like 24 hours before, it was just be like 45 and raining. Yeah. And we yeah, show Yeah, right, right, right. Where you show up, I'm like, ah, well, it's going to be raining or whatever. Ended up being like low 50s and partly sunny. And the place was just empty. It was just empty. No, and I mean, like Arizona, New Mexico, Utah. I'll just leave it at that, actually. Yeah. Uh, almost always out in the desert areas, mm -hmm. it's just blue sky. Yeah. You know? Yep. There'll, there'll be clouds over Colorado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some well, because of the mountains, I guess. I don't know. But like, um, like out in that area, it's just, it's just blue sky, you know, usually. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. So Zion was the best park. The best activity we did was mm -hmm. um, uh, Antelope Canyon, which was. Mm -hmm phenomenal so when it, if you looked at any of the pictures there's one they call it like angel wings where it's like my daughter up against a wall and there's yeah, light yeah, yeah. and like that's not photoshop dude like that's what it actually looked like uh right, right. and they do it, it's it can be quite expensive depending on how many people you go but they do it mm -hmm. pretty well it's on a, an, a navajo reservation which means you have to have a tour to get there which you're kind of like eh, yeah that's whatever but the way they do it is like an airport so they only sell certain time slots and if you miss your time slot on your tour, you're done. You're like, you're out. Right, but the right. benefit of that is, is there was, I think, seven or eight people with us. But we had like a section of that canyon, of that canyon yeah, by we ourselves. we were the only people there. We yeah. were the yeah. only people there. And so you can get those great photos. You can actually see mm -hmm. the light beams coming through. Uh, yeah. It was it was just, it was a great trip. That's, that's really. Yeah, that's cool. That's really the only way to, um, to describe. Horse, I think the biggest letdown, personally, was mm -hmm. probably Horseshoe Bend which is like yeah. that really f just because yep. you can't get photos of it because like you're like you're trying to take photos like like down and sure i thought your picture of it was good yeah no it, it was fine yeah. but i mean but i mean we're on a trip of like epic scale yeah, yeah and yeah. it's well so you you would have known you went to the grand did you go on the grand canyon thing where you walk out in the glass thing no so that was on a different part that's on oh, the no is it actually on the north side yeah no no it's not oh, even on the north side oh, it's on just a different part it's on like the las vegas side so it's not even oh. near like it. It's it's not bit. like the. There's usually you think of it. I think of it as the south. Right, south of the side is where we went. Is south, where, most where most people, people go because you come up from Flagstaff or whatever. Yeah, it's right there. That's where most people go. But this is it's on like okay. the edge by Las Vegas. Oh, I didn't know that. And so I've never been to that. I, that's yeah. a newer thing than since I've been there. But um, if but you, you must have noticed you stand there in front of the Grand Canyon. It is the most epic sweeping. Oh yeah. Thing imaginable, and you take pictures of it. And you're like, okay, the pictures look good, but. They don't just, in any way capture the size and depth of it, you know? Yep. And now you will appreciate this moment that I had at uh, the Grand Canyon when some friends came out to visit. We went up and we're, and we're walking down to, the, at the time, probably still the, the primary little spot on the south side there. Yep. The epic vista opening up before you. Mm -hmm. And this little girl comes running up. She's like, Mommy, Mommy, look, a puppy. <laughs> don't don't worry. So I was like, 
What? We and Zion, which the cool thing about Zion, it's the only way I can put it in, into per, like describing it. Is, so when you go into Grand Canyon, you're on top, right? You're driving on top and then there's just like a hole. Yeah. Zion, you come in, you are inside the canyon. Oh. And so okay. everything is like, it feels like 10,000 feet tall. Like it feels like sure. you're in the middle of a mountain. So we go all the way up this stuff and we climb up th- this really hard like climb it's called the overlook which is like where got a great family picture but it's almost like the tunnel view at yosemite but it's mm-hmm. in zion we get mm-hmm. all the way up top and there's chipmunks and my daughter's like look at all the chipmunks i'm like sweetie we have these in the backyard <laughs> we have literal proof of god here could you pay attention yes <laughs> just for a second so we she did great though we did one day in the grand canyon we did over 13 miles wow. and wow yeah like i mean we were this was a trip of moving um, yeah, it's and by the way, 13 miles, uh, you're not, you're not even doing it justice because this is terrain, you yeah. know. And uh, yeah, I did, my wife went, can, did a trip that she went down into the canyon camp and came back out. Yep. And I didn't go because I was like, I don't see any particular reason to walk out of the Grand Canyon. Uh, <laughs> but that kind of stuff is. But I've done other things like that. Yeah, we went yeah. have a soup pie and blah blah blah, whatever. But um, yeah, it's just uh, it's astonishing. I it, and especially when you grow up, yep, anywhere on earth. <laughs> Other than there, I mean, it's like, it's just so crazy looking. It uh, really, it, I think it, the thing we, there were a couple things we didn't account for. One of them was when we were driving from Las Vegas out to, uh, where were we going? To Zion. Mm-hmm. How many times we stopped just to pull over on the side of the road because it's yeah. just in, like, it's just incredible. Just the views. The, the other effect you get out there is just the distances are so vast, but you can see them, you know, like, uh, out here uh, where we live and where you live and everything you know you don't really think about it but this train like this yeah. goes up and down there are trees and things block things but out yep. there you just nope you know it's... You, and i've had experiences at west used to just in albuquerque uh driving over to like the west side of the river out in the distance you could see this mountain and you would drive for an hour and you could see this mountain and it wasn't any closer it was just yeah it's like i mean it was technically closer but you never felt like you were ever going to get there you know like you can see you're like we need to go there yeah it's going to take like two days you know, it's it's just a strange when you're not used to that. It's it's very strange. Yeah, Monument Valley was awesome in itself, yeah. but the stargazing there was just oh yeah 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 on amazing. Level. So you got to see satellites and yep, you can see that kind of stuff. Every, yeah. I woke up multiple times during the night mm-hmm. and would just walk out because right. um, our we had a third floor view mm-hmm. and you it, they like cut away perfect. the top. It's and, cold and crisp and clear yeah. and it's the ideal conditions and there's nothing blocking. There's no light pollution or whatever. To speak well, of to end the 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 trip facade or conversation i will say categorically the worst food we've had on a vacation <laughs> just well okay but you were eating in a lot of we were eating in the national, national parks, parks and, yeah, yeah we were getting uh especially at the view hotel like it's just nothing and then there's the hotel and you've got one food option and you can tell yeah. they pull out like the like the gordon food service <laughs> burger patty slap it in the microwave <laughs> Heat it up and right. give it to, like it's, but whatever. Should have rounded up some of those chipmunks, you know. <laughs> you probably would have been better. Um, yeah. They're probably that better. Sounds, it sounds good overall. Yeah, though. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, we want to go back and we'll. We yeah, didn't hit nice. Bryce wow. Canyon was the one that we missed. And we want to go back to Zion. Uh, there's a whole world of stuff out there. You could go to Mesa Verde, which is in the yep. southwestern corner of um, uh, Colorado. Beautiful Indian thing, Acoma, yep. in western New Mexico. Another uh, Mexican or um, Indian uh, village on top of a, uh, a mesa. Yep. It is a whole world of stuff out there. It's yeah. uh, it's amazing. Just a just a different place. And the best part was on the best part. I think the whole thing was is when you're in these parks, you have no cell coverage. So like you're you're, <laughs> right. you're disconnected. You're, you're engaged. <laughs> you yeah. you yep. put your phone on airplane mode. Otherwise, it's going to heat up in your pocket and you're going to burn your leg because it. That's what Apple phones do. It's, yeah. it's interesting that hasn't gotten any better. Uh, nope. In this modern era. Paul, we okay. were so yeah. far off the grid, and someone's going to be like, "What, Paul? We had 3G coverage." Yeah, which I've seen, dude, I this year I've seen two point five. Really? Like it actually said edge. Yeah. Like I had to look it up. I'm like, is this the thing that AT and T used to have? Yeah. That, yeah. You that know. Was, yeah. Which is like worse than no know coverage. What to say? It's like L. Yeah. <laughs> You're like what's L? Um, yeah. If someone's gonna be like, well, why three G? Well, it, the fact is because Verizon, all these guys have been ripping three G coverage out for mm-hmm. years, even Sorry. decades, maybe at this point. I so. Think- isn't AT and T about to retire their yeah, three G network? Is that right? Yeah, or was it the Edge network? I think it was three G. One of those things. I don't know. Yeah, 
Anyways, looks like Apple's going to retire their iPhone SE because they're not selling a whole bunch. They're cutting those. At least the I love Apple. I love the excuse. It's like I I just don't think this phone serves the needs of a lot of people. Yeah. You know, I I get that some people just don't have enough money. When I, that's fine. I, there's no problem selling a a phone in to the in that price category. But it's like this little. <laughs> It's, it's like post the stamp screen. Mm -hmm. It's like I, you know, it's like people are always like, oh, I, my grandmother got one. It's like, really? How does she see the screen? Yeah. What does she have the font size so she could see like one word at a time? This is the, you know, like mm -hmm. it's, and it's like, oh no, it's because of war and inflation. You know, those two things that existed before you launched the phone. You yeah. Know those things. I still think their their strategy they had was fine. Sell an iPhone. What they sold the iPhone eight for a long time. No, now it's the iPhone idea. XR. Take the iPhone XR or whatever yeah. it was called. Sell that thing. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it's what people want and a, and a package they want that just with less innards. I mean, that's yep. the smaller phone like the, just doesn't work. A, everyone's like, oh, it's got the newest chip. You know, it's like great. Who cares? You're not going to want to use this thing in two years. Like, yeah, I'd rather have a mid-level chip and have a good camera. You mm -hmm. know, with multiple, which is what you can get on the Android side. You know. Yeah, it's what Apple should do. They they could do it. I, they just it's so bizarre, uh, you know. And whatever they make so much money, I why who am I to critique their strategy? But I just don't think this phone makes any sense in twenty twenty two. Yeah, I think that could be argued. Uh, and surprising zero point zero percent of people, Microsoft's spinning up a cloud division of gaming, and they're going to build cloud native games for their cloud native services to bring to their consoles. Yeah, and I wasn't sure why that was even news. Yeah, I think it was <laughs> news because it was finally a, official. I, yeah. I guess. Okay. Okay. Maybe someday soon. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Sony's going to announce their yeah. uh, competitor to this uh, Xbox Game Pass, or mm -hmm. I think it's Xbox Game Pass competitor. Yeah. Cloud gaming competitor, whatever, probably both. So I'm kind of curious to see what they do there. Yep, see how they... Uh, Leverage uh, Azure. <laughs> well, no. But well, I bet it it's just be. a bunch of their back catalog. I bet it's what it is. That's fine. Which is, That's yeah, fine. Which is fine. That's it's good. a market good waiting to give you money. If anybody wants to give me money, that's uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Get some Tesla stations out in Utah. 